Hi friends, Candace Gillespie here from Candace's Canvases. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to walk you through this super cute bacon and eggs um, masculine Valentine's ca Valentine card. So this is card four of my masculine Valentine card series. And if you haven't already, head over to Facebook and join my Facebook group page, Crafters Anonymous by Candace's Canvases. It's just a small group right now, but I'm hoping to build it up to be a super fun interactive community where we can all glean inspiration. So um, follow along. Okay, here we go. First things first, I am starting with the bacon stamps. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is um, the Die Hard stamp of the month, wait, Die Hard Stamp and Die Kits that came from The Stamps of Life. I'll leave a link below to the stamp set and the Stamps of Life. The Die Hard Club, you get a stamp set and the coordinating dies every month for very, <coughs> excuse me, minimal fee. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so I just used my stamp platform, a tonic studio, Tim Holtz stamp stamp platform. I feel like my nose is always clogged when I go to record. Anyway, and I stamped out the bacon and eggs and here I am using some Prisma um, color pencils. I have a terracotta color and then this is kind of just a chocolate or a espresso type of brown that I lightly covered over it. And then I'm going in and I'm with a heavier hand, I'm going to color that in darker. So I cut out quite a bit of coloring so that you didn't have to sit there and watch me do the same thing, but I did the same process. And then I'm lightly going over the fat lines with the same terracotta color. Here I'm coloring the egg yolks with a, a yellow, can't remember the name of it. But then I come back with a, an orange, like maybe a red orange. I really like the fresh, um, eggs that come from um, pastured hens <laughs> and the yolks tend to be nice and orangey like this so um, of course I had to make my eggs like that <laughs> and I kind of did the same technique I, um, I came back in with the yellow and I gave it a heavier handed coat on there next I'm coming in with this kind of soft gray slash taupe color and um, I'm just kind of coloring around the yolk where I think that there might be some shading and then just you know some white's not always pure white so that's why I brought that color in and then I'm going to just color over it with this white pencil to blend it out a little bit I've yet to get odorless mineral spirits for my color pencils it is in my Amazon cart so when I find the right time to get it I will <laughs> can't wait to actually play with it and experiment because I've never used it so you know my whole life I've just colored so blending with the odor odorless mineral spirit sounds like fun anyway just um, taping the dyes on and um, using some washi tape. My brain couldn't think of the word for a second. Using some washi tape to hold those dies in place and um, showing my embarrassingly loved and used cutting plate there. It's time to get a new one guys. When will I get one? I don't know. One, one day. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like eh. It's not cracked. I mean it's <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that silly? Okay, so here I am just placing my sentiments on here. This one says, we go together like, and in the finished card you'll see I did end up putting dot, dot, dot at the end with just a Sharpie marker. And then this says bacon and eggs. So I am going to first, um, glue in my eggs on the inside and then I'm going to tape that or stamp that sentiment right over these eggs. So just piecing those back together. 
These dies come with both the shadow die, which I could have used the shadow die and it wouldn't have cut out all these pieces individually. Um, I didn't mind it. I like how close the detail die gets to the outside lines. And since I'm not the best fussy cutter, that's really helpful. <laughs> and so anyways, just glued those in place and my fine liner bottle came in really handy for that. And then I'm gonna stamp it a couple times. I used stays on for the inside because it's going over that waxy color pencil, the white that I applied over the egg whites. Um, and I felt like it may have been a better option, my better choice of all my ink choices because it was going over that um, waxy surface. So here I'm taking also from the Stamps of Life the stitched rectangles and um, just going over those um, rectangles that I had already cut out and I, they kind of came out a little crooked but I, I'm totally fine with it, not bothered at all by it. I should have cut them out before I trimmed them down to the appropriate card size. So I'm gonna glue these on here, just kind of crisscross here, just kind of like they're laying, laying on this counter or something, I don't know. I'm gonna glue that on. Then I'm gonna bring in a color pencil. This is kind of a charcoal color pencil. And I'm gonna apply some shadows. And I did forget to put the shadows on the eggs on the inside, but that's okay. Nobody will ever know unless they're a shadow snob. <laughs> then I'm gonna use the white color pencil to soften that, kind of blend it in a little bit to the fibers of the paper. You know how color pencil can tend to look gritty a little bit. So the white just kind of fills that in. And then using my Sharpie marker, just where the egg am, is glued down to the paper, I just kind of filled in where the stamp didn't step off perfectly. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Again, this was card four in my Masculine Valentine card series of 2018. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, like this channel, wait, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a joyful comment below, and we'll talk soon. Bye.